how is Eldrazi Tron doing well? Mm, I don't know. It might not be. I think people aren't playing Voidmere. That too, yeah. But um, I mean, we, have we, you read Reality Smasher? <laughs> yeah. We saw it once and it, it was it lost. I'm pretty sure. But, <laughs> but it, uh, I mean, yeah, it lost because it was playing against Titan, right? Yeah. I can't remember. I what mean, it was. at the end of the day, it also could be like that guy could be. In theory, he could be like 0 10 on the day. Yeah, it's hard to tell with the team event. Just won every round. Yep. What's up, Aiden? Only got crushed the rest of the day. I'm happy for you. I even won a living in mirror. That's when the guy sick. I was playing said, I've never played the mirror either. And we're just like, I'm like, I think I know more because I've talked to Seth. So sick. <laughs> I killed him with the shardless agent. <laughs> two, two. Oh, yeah. <laughs> How many times? Oh, like four. Got eight damage in for the win. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah. Yeah, I was cruising. Oh, man. We're still... Yeah, we're still mulliganing. Yeah. Wait, who are we on? Oh, we're on Dredge, okay, we're on Dredge and on yeah. Math, I guess. Yeah, I mean, Dredge is going to be a little bit more aggressive here. Hey, guess what? That Prismatic, probably not going to do much. Yeah, Prismatic, very bad. That Prismatic's really bad. <laughs> it... <laughs> oh. Oh, so, yeah, uh, second land and uh, Cathartic. Oh, man. Never, oh, no. Never didn't have it. Okay, well, let's just pitch the uh, these two. They, they they don't do anything. Hey, I think seeing the the Supreme Fighter comes out. Yeah, I think like sure. Yeah. You kind of. I mean, in dreads you don't really care if you like lose the card. Yeah. Like if you're discarding two dreads cards anyway. Yeah, we're we're, we're gonna discard the, the Stinkweed Imp anyway. Oh, so one, oh, two, okay. three. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. I, <laughs> you got it, bro. All right. Uh, yeah. Uh, our bad, Thomas. Yeah. But what we're saying is like, Verdict's obviously a good card. Maybe a little slow in some situations. Like when you, if you get a little, a little slow like this, yeah, like in situations like that, it can be slow. But seeing the Verdict go away, I, you're just super happy. He's got Solitude and Ephemerate, so. All right. So it, it it'll put. Sean, not Sean, sorry. It'll put Dylan down to 17. It'll bring Thomas back up to 22. We're well, gonna... he got creeping chilled, right? So he's actually at 16? Yeah. Oh, yeah, because you know, the fetch. Yeah. So, yeah, so he'll go to 16. Thomas goes to 22. We have a Dark Blast to help fuel the next draw, no matter what it is. We have one card in hand, I believe. Don't know what it is. Two power in play with flyers. We've got three more coming at the end step. Oh, you're saying we have one card other than the dredge card? Yeah. Okay, so we have two cards in hand? Yeah. Okay. Thomas, don't be cheating now. Don't be cheating, Thomas. Dude, I got fifth and I don't even get a picture, dude. Sorry, buddy. You're cringe. I'm so sad. Did you see my socks today? No, I don't know. They're Felder grips, basically. It's pigs with wings. <laughs> when pigs fly, you know. Heck yeah. I mean, we're down to 14. Our prismatic in. <laughs> oh, yep. Got yeah, him. I mean, that makes sense. Sure. I'm sorry. Or was but... that not an ephemerate? Was... No. I might have just been an endurance earlier. I'm at. Uh... Solitude? I've been playing all day, dude. <laughs> <laughs> brain is uh, mush brain is yeah. mush <laughs> so i thought one of the cards in his hand was an ephemerate so throwing Disco but. discovery guess what that puts us to 25 and throwing discovery if i'm not wrong is a little bit oh. safer than cathartic right because you don't actually have or they both discard you the, so cathartic is technically better because if they counter the discovery you don't get to pitch anything Oh, I, so I guess in this situation, yes. it's the reverse, but like normally. Normally, yes, Dis discovery is better. Would be better. Yeah. Unless you're copying them, then cathartic is also better because you only have to discard the cards once. Why are his glasses like that? 
<laughs> Never heard. <laughs> My ears are getting a little like sore. I'm not that, used to that's about. Parents. Uh, what, Thomas? We were, we were, we were, we were talking. We got distracted. What happened? Did Thomas dredge wrong again? I don't think so. Come on. Us. It has to resolve first. It's not an additional cost. So he discarded two cards. It's up to. It's not an additional cost like cathartic. You gain two life. And then you may discard two cards. If you do, draw three cards. Yeah. What's up, big guy? Mm hmm. Okay. Ooga booga. I mean, we're just kind of waiting on this judge question to be yeah our fix. Sure. Oh wait, wait. What is? Oh, yeah. Oh man. I think Thomas just put two cards from his graveyard back into his hand. Half Walrus, thanks for the follow. You know what, I guess if Thomas is... <laughs> I don't think he did. I, I don't think he did either, but I, I'm... Yo, I know he definitely he definitely dredged one of them, but I think he dredged the other one too. I just think we have been his dredgers so far. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what are you doing? Are playing COD Mobile or something? Where's Twitch? Dude, nice combo deck, Thomas. Winning with combat damage. Why, why are you looking at me, bro? Wait. Yeah, since we have a judge question right now. Uh, the other day, I was playing... Oh, they know. Grinding we, station. Oh, you tell them already? We we, just, we we brought it up as as an example. Yeah, so I was playing grinding station yeah. against Burn. Yeah. And, or no, against Esper. And yes. I just made constructs and killed him instead. Yep. And the whole time he sat there and waited for me to combo and just died to my creatures. Mm-hmm. So that happens quick. Yeah. Like all of a sudden you look at your life total, you're like, wait, I'm at like four. Yeah. And he's got two five five constructs. I was just like, get him. Uh, that's a board state. So this is the Eldrazi player from earlier. This is the same one that we watched fall short of winning against the Hammer. Hammer, yeah. And this is going to be a very interesting situation. I'm just glad I didn't play Seth today because I did not want to play the Mirror. Against someone that has way more time with it? Oh yeah, for sure. Because he was like... I haven't played in months. I'm like, that doesn't matter. Bro, all you played was living it. Like, you played it when it was much worse without like grief and stuff. Dude, now it's that, way that better. That card's been so good all day. Oh no, he he's eating up some hands. Yeah, so we're just gonna stick. We're gonna stick on here for a little while because the other match is still being talked to. Wait, um, the one that we were originally following, and we're trying to figure out how this. Uh, they're we're gonna have another judge question probably. Oh, for sure. Unless Seth's just so smart, he's. Oh uh, yeah, the living in Dothy Voidwalker interactions super weird. I I do you got the tack on that, Taryn? Or? No, I just know it's really weird. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, we had the force negation anyway, so. Oh okay. Oh, yeah, my bad. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, it's okay. Wait, no, no, no. That guy's... We forced the force that he doubt that, that he doubted. 
Oh, I yeah. See. So no tech at all. Don't gotta worry. It says yeah, just we dodged that bullet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it says just gigabrain. It's fine. They are ninety seven. Thanks for the follow. He has another dot on board though. Yeah, but there's not another force for him to go get. Yeah. No. Saying if he's resolving living in with the Dothy out, it's like a really weird interaction. Are, two... are you saying it's weird, or do you know for a hundred percent fact it's weird? I, sw I, w I okay, maybe I don't know. I like I, I don't know either. That's why I'm asking. I thought there was something weird with like it doesn't actually. I mean, work bro, you're probably a Google those. search away. Well, it's somebody chat. Oh, you can like Dothy, the. Because, like, the living in goes, to, so you can just, like, dock and cast it or something like that. If you know, like, but uh, I don't know. It looks like it resolved. Granted, uh, Chad may also not be aware of the, that boss of that line. This is all in response to an inquisition. Yes. Yes, it is. Dothy always beats living in, someone said. Well, Dothy um, lets you cast Living In, and then Dothy comes back, and Living In gets exiled again. So you can in infinitely loop them. Yeah, something weird like that. Oh, because you tab sack Dothy? Yeah. And then you cast Living In, and then everything gets cycled, and Dothy comes back. But it wouldn't have haste, so... Yeah, but then the next turn, you get to go and get, you just get to do it again. So your opponent never has the chance to have creatures that can attack. Yeah, you just keep wrathing them. Yeah, but you also wrath it yourself. Right. Yeah. Um, we could go back to the other match if you guys want. Oh uh, yeah, probably. Go back to to a couple of decks that we actually understand well. Any questions about Jackpot? Yes. Oh, they're just sideboarding. Bro, my man, Thomas is reading Question the primer the right call. now. Hmm? Yes. So, what, it was really hard to follow there. What, yeah, what happened? Uh, okay, so we have um, the Dredge player uh, cast the uh, that two-mana spell that says gain two life. You may discard two cards mm -hmm. if you do draw three cards. Mm -hmm. um, he went straight to drawing. Uh, and on first reading of the card, you're like, oh, you know, that's a May ability to discard. So it sounds like you didn't choose to discard anything. So, but then we're reading it again. Well, wait a minute. You have to discard the cards in order to draw the cards. So if you do, draw other cards. So so basically, this is where um, the philosophy in things like this is a lot like your deck list. Um. You know, if you write down something boneheaded in your deck deck list, and you're playing something slightly different, we we tend to err towards what did you intend? Um, because it's possible for you to intend to do something, and you did something perfectly legal that was not advantageous to you. In which case, you know, generally in a comp rel event, you're held to that choice. Uh, in this case, because he went straight to the drawing, he he just did it in the wrong order mm -hmm. so he resolved the whole spell wrong so in that case um it was a very easy backup just take those five cards put them back on top of your library these cards are still in your hand resolve it correctly and at which point he's like okay pitch these two dredge five for strength mid imp dredge five for strength mid imp and yeah. then he found another dredger for another three or four okay um and at that point he had you know the typical large quantity of dredge triggers so in this case, his action showed very clearly that he intended to discard cards and draw cards. Otherwise, he wouldn't have gone straight to draw. Mm -hmm. So in that case, hey, you're doing the whole thing wrong. Let's back up and do the whole thing right. Okay. You can't do the whole thing, like, part of it wrong, part of it right. No, you do the whole thing, the whole thing right. I was about to send you out there again. I just saw Seth Brazen Borrower a Dothy and he just grabbed a Dothy and set it in the graveyard. <laughs> <laughs> and Seth goes, nah man, that's in your hand. Anyway. <laughs> and I, I see you're you're also familiar with how Voidwalker works like with Living End. Dothy Voidwalker? Yeah. Um I'd have to read the cards. 
Okay. There's so many. There's there's yeah. there's so many cards and so many interactions. So there's lots. Sometimes the interactions are memorized, but a lot of times you just read the cards and you're like, oh yeah, there it is. Yeah. Especially when they start giving you new ones with the uh, oracle text of Bibles yeah. on them. Uh, Voidwalker has a tap. Sacrifice yeah. this creature. Yeah. You can choose a card that's uh, in your opponent's graveyard that's exiled with Voidwalker and you can cast it. You mean something that was exiled with Voidwalker? Yes. Yeah. And so you can loop, because it will be in the graveyard when Living End triggers, mm -hmm. it will then come back off that Living End, and Living End will be in the bin. And then it'll go again. Like, like they, they're able to like keep going. Like not, not like the same turn, but they will keep their opponent locked. I mean, because yet, I mean, sacrificing a creature in response to a living end cast to, yeah. to bin it, to get it back immediately with the resolution of living end is that's that's tales old, yeah. Yeah. tales old time or whatever that thing goes. Kind of happened to me today. That's yeah. that's that's not like that's not unique to Dothy yeah. Voidwalker. No, it well, was... it was just like the fact that Dothy at any turn can just tap do it. Yeah. It's, that's where we're like, it's kind of weird. Yeah, you got to kill that thing like the turn it comes out. Otherwise, they're going to get some kind of value out of it. Or at the very least, you know, fizzle your... <laughs> Match. Jordan, drawing it like it means it. He just ne he, he's just always had it today. Never didn't have it. Are those ragged nets? They're no, they're not spears. The spears. In the secret oh, layer, never, like, I haven't seen that just about candy... Spears. This but do you see the other art in play? Do you see the full, full text. art? That's full beautiful. Text. That is beautiful. It is not. It is one of the only secret layers I've purchased. Really? Yes. I mean, oh. uh, if you're a judge, I mean, they, 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 this basically secret layer judge really is what it is to me. Because, you know... the. the the basic land is so simple, so simple. There's like no rules text on it, hardly at all. And yet, what is a basic land? And when you really think about it, that full text box right there. Yeah, yeah. You you want to over-explain something and get a new player to quit? Roll out the full text basics. So that's why, like, oh. you, you don't want to play with those, uh, except for like super enfranchised players. More ninety six, and it and it still has you know like basic land mountain mm -hmm. on it. It's still it's simple. Still you can still ignore all that text if you want to. Just oh, like you I, can I ignore will. you could ignore the art. You could ignore the frame. Oh. You could ignore the the text box with the mountain symbol on it. You know, the red mountain symbol. We were playing the other day, and he was playing with him, and I kept nudging him. I was like, "Your opponent doesn't know what that does. I need you to read it to him." <laughs> <laughs> the whole time. I love getting crushed, by the way, yeah. for us, as I do. Yeah. I'm just messing with people at other tables. Just like, hey, what are you doing? All right, cool. Well, any other questions for me while you got me? No, sir. Okay, Thank you cool. very much. It's been a, it's a, been a very busy event, but, you know, it's been a lot of fun. Team events are great. Yeehaw. Thank you. I almost had a deflecting palm tie today. Yes. I, I played around it. Okay. That's always that's always a fun judge call. Uh I had a seven seven whale, dude. I I I think I think Sean's just dead. Maybe. I only saw did he draw anything else? Because I thought his hand was just skewer the critics. I mean he has a canopy too. Okay, yeah. Good to redraw them. So I mean, if it's like crack canopy, you get a bolt, ba ba. One of the 12 bolts. Yeah. 13 even. Three. Oh, our cast. Full mana skewer. skewer. Two. One. And. Uh -oh. Pass. Imagine slow playing him with a bolt right now. <laughs> it'd be, it'd be, I mean, it's definitely the. The byline was of a full text basic guy. Yeah, but like, oh, uh, I I wouldn't be mad if Sean like hauled off and, and hit him. Like, I'd respect it, honestly. <clears throat> Not even kicking him out. Yeah, Aaron 
said his his deck would be mill, like for sure. Mm, he hit it. Boris Charm you, right? Isn't it the No, nah, it's a lightning helix. Oh, okay. Yep. I... No, yeah, it's the other card that's got the weird art that's Boris Charm. So that's two O. That's just a Japanese alternate. I'm pretty, pretty sure uh, Thomas Jordan just took it down. Um Oh. No, they're fine. So. Well no, Dylan was looking over at Sean's uh match a lot right there, so I, I had a feeling that their game was just over. Yeah, that makes sense. I mean that makes sense. Alright. We'll go out there. Talk to some homies. Do my mandatorial duties. Sure. Alright, I had to pull up the stream for people out there to watch. But you have fun. It was a blast. Got this. Hey, may maybe we'll be going on the road. I mean, I could be that side for my first one K and I got this. Good job, buddy. Yeah. yeah, I got that put the best on the team, so. Yeah. Hey, but we may be taking this on the road. Oh no. <laughs> oh, no. The issue with the judge call, he drew cards off of Thrilling Discovery without discarding. So they just had to figure out um and then it, it ended up being just Back it up, un undredge five cards, put it back on top of your deck, and then discard, and then do it, resolve it correctly. So. And. Take a damage. Otherworldly gaze. Is he on 19 life? 19 or 18? I think it's 18. That's an 18. Thomas pitches a bunch of lands into the bin. By the Kahira. I should probably tell Thomas that it's basically shields down. He might be looking at a force. I don't think he has the idea that... I think he has Flusterstorm? Yeah, that's what I'm saying, but I, I don't think Thomas is going to pin him down for having a Fluster Storm. I thought that was a card I saw, but it doesn't seem like... Well, it's four-color Omnath, so... No, but, but what I'm saying is, it, it very well... I believe it is as all... I do believe it's a Fluster Storm. But Thomas isn't going to be suspecting that. No. Yeah. Uh, he can afford to pay for it here. Yes, he can. he's going to do it anyways, I think. Yeah, I mean, I force him to use his mana. Yeah. Because, like, you know, probably worst case scenario for Dylan, you know, we dredge over a uh, ox and we use that two mana right there to just do the ox. Mm, yeah. Like in a near perfect world, and like in that world, you're looking at any other two mana spell in Thomas's deck and he's getting close to max out right there is 29 cards put into the bin because he could hit stink medium stink medium off of this Golgari thug and so there's 14 and then if you hit another imp there's there's plus 15 so there's 29 and you're not even asking for that much right all right, so that, yeah, there's a thug. So we'll go to eight total. Yep, there's an imp. Aren't those the silver dudes? Silver smoke ghouls that will come back creeping with these chill. creeping chills. Creeping chills. Three times. There's three of them in there. Holy cow. Three. That's an 18-point life total swing. Down to six. Up nine, down nine. Puts Dylan to six. Oh, imagine. Where, where's the conflagrate? <laughs> All right. Uh, go to town with two Narcomibas. Thoughts? Thomas is only at 22, though, with all the uh, damage he's been taking from Mana Confluence and City of Brass.
Dredges looked really good on camera. Yeah. Get in for one, put you to five. Get back an entire army. Do you have a supreme verdict, sir? Did you draw a verdict? He, he had one in hand. Yeah. Verdict. I think we're fine with that. Yeah, people were thinking Dredge was like pretty bad in this format because of everyone just running Endurance and Active Fire and... Well, not everyone's running Endurance because only one person can run Endurance. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Team, yeah, team, it's not like... Oh, every... Yeah. No, I know what you mean. Um, There, I think they went ahead and picked him up. Yeah. Good games. All right. So that's going to... I'm going to run to the restroom.